Coming up next, how Loyola provides a space for Muslims to worship during the holy month of Ramadan. Also, two weeks ago, I went to the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, asking fans a very important question about Loyola. This all next. Thank you all for joining me today. Guys, I'm so sorry. I've been away for two weeks. I know. It's my fault, partially. One, I was in Brooklyn, New York, covering the 810 men's basketball championship game. And don't worry, I have a story for you guys. So I didn't just go away without a story for all of you, so trust me. But I'll share, I'll share that in a little shortly. I was also away with a little dental problem I had, but it's all fixed. It's all fine. My face is fine. It was a little swollen. That's why I wasn't on camera or I could barely even talk. But we're back. We're better than ever. Um, however, Loyola students, I hope you all enjoyed the Easter break and Happy Easter to everyone who celebrates. Along with Easter, there are other religious holidays that took place and are still going on, like Ramadan. Ramadan, a month of fasting, prayer, and reflection, is coming to an end for Muslims. As the holy month concludes, so do the nightly prayers that are specifically tailored for this month known as the Tarawih prayer. <laughs> During the month, the Muslim chaplain at Loyola, Omer Muzaffar, organized this congregational prayer once again this year for students. The prayer took place every night since the start of Ramadan in the Daman NPR. Prayers led by Muslim students created a space of unity and togetherness for those participating, especially those away from home. Now in more news, like I said, I was away and I was in Brooklyn, and I asked them one very important question that you would think a lot of people would know but you'd be shocked to hear the responses. It is officially here, the moment we have all been waiting for. The A-10 Men's Basketball Championship game is officially underway. The Duquesne Dukes versus the VCU Rams. Now, although Loyola is not in the championship game, the Rambler spirit is still alive at the Barclays Center. So today, I'm going around asking A10 fans one very important question. Do you know what a Rambler is? You know, I, I should know this. Do you know what a Rambler is? No. No, what's a Rambler? <laughs> if you had a guess, what would be your one guess as to what a Loyola Rambler is? Like a goat of some type? I'm the goat. The goat? I'm the greatest of all time. Really? Yeah, undisputed. Undisputed? I mean, dude. I know it's their, like, mask off. I don't know what it is. Take, if you had to take your best guess, what would you guess? An animal? <laughs> what kind? Like a wolf? OK, that's a good guess. Our mascot is a wolf, so that's a good guess. But that's not quite what a rambler is. A wolf of some sort? I'm gonna guess some sort of person, but I don't know. Like a rambler, maybe like a sailor. Something to do with like I don't know. I guess Chicago is a port city. I'm gonna guess something to do with hunting. If a wolf's involved somehow, I don't know. I'm guessing it's a type of a bear, maybe. A bear. Okay, good guess. Not quite. Is it a person that like talks a lot? A gambler. <laughs> it sounds like somebody that talks about something that they don't they don't know enough about. <laughs> Fair. Uh, can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> the Loyola Ramblers are out of the semifinals. And that's really disappointing. You know, I really wanted to see them in the semifinals. I bought these tickets expecting to see Sister Jean in Loyola, Chicago, and now I'm here watching VCU and Duquesne with a Q. With a Q. It's, it's a really disappointing. You know, big A10 fan, lifelong A10 fan. Wanted to see Loyola Chicago, but unfortunately, so is next year. Okay, but do you know what a Rambler is? Oh, no. But I love the Ramblers. I can't tell you what it is, but I know what the mascot looks like. And I don't know. I don't know. I probably should know this. <laughs> also, I don't. I need to do a better job of making sure I know all of these things. I don't know what a Rambler is. But Can you tell us? But go Ramblers. Go, go Ramblers. Go Ramblers. Yes. I will tell you. Okay. So back in the earlier days, 
when we had a football team, we don't now. We didn't have a home stadium, so we would kind of ramble from place to place. We were initially called the Loyolans, but that didn't really stick. So everyone always said we would ramble around, so then we were eventually named the Ramblers. And we've been the Ramblers ever since. Wow. You learn something new every day. Had I hung out longer with Sister Jean, I think I would have learned a whole bunch of things. Fun fact, I love it. Yeah. The more you know. Y'all are the Ramblers. That's crazy. Love it, amazing. Got it. Yeah. Interesting. Last question, do you know who Sister Jean is? Oh yeah. Yeah? Of course. I've been following Sister Jean for a very long time. No, not really. Yeah, she followed the team the whole time. They almost made it to the championship. Are you familiar with Sister Jean? No. Yes. Yes. Do you know how old she is? 103. 103? 101. I was gonna say 98. 90, I think, she, I think they said 95, 96. 92? She's got to be pushing 95. She looks great for her age, by the way. 94. 104! And the driving! And she looks amazing! Close. 104. Uh. 104? 104. 104. I was just 10 off. Just 10. Just 10 years. Just a whole decade. Whole, yep, a whole decade. Oh wow. God. All right, I knew she was over 100. That's I didn't know awesome. exactly which one. That's impressive. She's 104. She's got to drop. She's got to drop. She's got to drop the skincare routine. I love it. Shout out to Sister Jean. Absolutely. Shout out to Jean. She's 104. Wow. Now she's 104. She was just here when Loyola played in the court. Was she? Oh wow. Still in the wheelchair, coming yeah. to the games. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Shout out, Sister Jean. Shout out. God bless her. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm only 60 and I almost didn't make it. <laughs> well, although these are not maroon and gold, and no one really knew what a Rambler is, fans definitely left tonight knowing what it was, including A10's reporter, Paige Messier, in Brooklyn, New York. I'm Vanessa Hoxa. <laughs>